Good lord, the malls in the Philippines are insane. We've lost the car in the mall. That's the thing with Filipino malls, they're so big. There is a train going through this mall. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the SM Cebu City Seaside Mall. We are going to head into Cebu's biggest mall today. We're currently in the middle of Cebu Island in Cebu City, heading in to explore Cebu's biggest mall and I'm super excited for this one because it looks amazing. So let's head on in. So guys, we have come to the top of the SM City Seaside here in Cebu. They actually have kind of a sky garden. It's called Sky Park. And it is a big garden on the top of the roof. And I've come to introduce you guys again to two wonderful people. Hey. Borja and Daphne are back Hello. with us. Three of us are actually heading on an amazing road trip through the Philippines. More on that later. But right now, we have to explore the mall, yes? Yes. Absolutely. This happens to be the biggest mall in Cebu and the design of it is kind of like a rotundra. It's like a big circle and it's super exciting because the last video that I uploaded in a mall in Manila was in the Mall of Asia. It's currently my top viewed video and you guys absolutely loved it. So we're gonna be doing the same thing today. The one thing that I do want to know, it's a big circle but there's this big building just pointing right out of it that I don't think is accessible yet. That's not part of the mall. Well, I mean it's an office building. Office Please building. And it's sticking right out of the center of the mall. It's like a big column. So we're gonna head on into the mall now, get some food, see what there is to do here, the attractions, but this was like an amazing starting point because they have a sky garden up here. It's like a, a whole little garden at the top. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple goals as well today. Besides trying food here, we also need to buy a hard drive because Borja and I both make videos and do content and stuff like that and we have to save our content. I've been traveling on the road for eight months now with one hard drive and I'm out of memory. So we're gonna hopefully buy a new one here. We're currently heading into a thing called Cyber Zone, which is like the tech district of this mall. District of this mall. And if it's anything like the one in the Mall of Asia, we're gonna get lost in it for sure. I almost kind of wish the malls in the United States organized their sections into electronic sections because it literally feels like you enter here into like a digital world. Everything just becomes electronics. It's crazy. I don't need to buy a hard drive here because I have a friend coming to the Philippines soon from the US who's going to bring me a hard drive. But we got Borja Boy a hard drive. He's a happy boy. Yeah. <laughs> There's people needed. peace signing behind him. <laughs> so now we're going to head on down and keep exploring this mall. Is this a Sinulog store? No, it's uh, it's Cultura. It's, I Daphne is going to be able to explain it better oh, okay. than me. Cultura, the word yeah. in, in English is culture. Right. And so here is a store that sells like, Filipino products, like traditional Filipino products, like Filipiniana, um, you know, hand-woven products made with local material okay. and all of those things. So anything Filipino. Cool beans. This looks sick. Also, there's a reason why we're in this store, besides the fact that it's cool, and that is? A good friend is getting married, and uh, we've been told that the dress code is either tropical, formal, formal or Filipiniana. So we're gonna go for Filipiniana, and we're <laughs> gonna get a Barong Tagalog for me, and, and uh, a Filipiniana for Daphne. I have no idea what either one of those are, but I'm very excited That's to see them. Kind of look a little Indian. These, these shirts are actually made out of caterpillar silk. Look at these designs, it's kind of like super like... That's handmade, sir. Handmade. So if you can hear the music playing right now, it's actually like a song for Sinolu, which is something you guys have been driving me crazy about visiting. I don't think I'll actually be able to, but this store 
is totally prepared for it. It's a big festival that happens in Cebu, and they have one called Dinigeng in Iloilo, as well as another one called Atitihan in uh, Kalibo, which we are actually going to go to. This store is kind of like hyping me up for it a little bit, because it looks like it might be freaking awesome. Stressful situation. What is this thing called again? Baron Tagalog. Baron Tagalog. Oh, Borja, you look like a straight G right now. This looks sick. <laughs> Borca kind of looks like King of the Philippines right now. I'm, I'm digging this look for sure. You can tell Daphne knows what she's doing here. Daphne, what's going on in your department? What are your choices at the moment? I have this color and this color, but this is natural vinyan color. Daphne has found her little get up here. After trying, what, it was like three or four you tried? Yeah. This is the perfect one. We have definitely spent way too much time in the store but it's, it's just a great time in here. It feels like a little island paradise. Wine, guava wine, lychee wine. I've never seen anything like this in my life and it's made in the Philippines. If you guys know how I can get to this old lady making this stuff, I wanna go there. So please, recommendations. All right, we got some goodies in the bag. Shall we continue this mall exploration? Yes. Let's do it. Guys. What do you think? Does this man look like me? No. Not at all. Could I not be a Filipino Indian looking model? Guys, this is the movie theater. Okay, hands down. This is the coolest movie theater I've ever seen in my life. Look at this thing. Oh my, it looks like you're entering another dimension in here. That is amazing. I once again have to say the size of this mall. Like you guys, you guys gotta chill out. You guys think the mall's too big. And here we go, another movie theater. This one's like double the size of the last one. And, and it has the it has the director's club, which... Yes, tell us about the director's club, please, sir. The director's club is the way to go to the cinema and you get to sit on a Lazy Boy, you get free popcorn, <laughs> and if you order any other food, it gets delivered to your table, <laughs> which is insane. <laughs> oh my God, Borja, you weren't kidding. Yeah, no. <laughs> This is fancy! Best of Cebu 2016. Guys, check this. This is like a fancy airport lounge. You have a concierge and everything. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Alright guys, so we've come to a place called Infinity. These two have never had a taro, like a taro milk tea with boba, like the bubbles inside. So this place actually gives you the option to get like a percentage of sugar. We have opted to get one less sugar, one half sugar, one quarter sugar. Two. Ready? Oh, this tastes so good. How is it, guys? What do you think of the taro? I love oh, it's it. really good. Is it? Ooh. It's really, really good. Taro for me has been my like safe getaway when it comes to like boba teas and milk teas. I love it so much. We are now heading off to a place called the SM Supermarket. SM, by the way, is kind of like the brand or the company that owns all these crazy big malls in the Philippines. There's that and then there's Ayala as well. But the SM so far, from what I've understood, are the biggest ones. They have a chain called the SM Supermarket. And they also have another one that's kind of like a deluxe version of that. I can't remember the name. But we're going to head off to the SM Supermarket right now to check out what this one looks like because I'm always interested. But Daphne was telling me what SM, like what she knows it to be stood for. What is it, Daphne? Well, SM stands for Schumart. And if I remember correctly, or my mom told me that it was like from top to bottom shoes, like locally made manufactured shoes from Marikina, which is a city in Manila. And, uh, and somehow it turned into this whole thing. Now it has a department store, a supermarket, and all, carries different brands. And it's all over the Philippines. All right, so if you guys remember in Ilo Ilo, a little while ago, we tried a bibinka, which was like a rice cake. That, the one I had there was sweet, but this one they have with duck egg, salted duck egg. So me and Borja just got in two. We're gonna try them for you guys. I don't know if this is a Cebuano thing at all, or if it's just a Filipino thing. Filipino. Yeah, all right, so it looks like we have a slice of cheddar cheese on top, and then there's salted duck egg, and it's kind of wrapped in like a banana leaf. I guess that's how it's cooked. Really interesting. You have a salty egg and like sweet rice in the middle. Wow, that's interesting. In a good way? Definitely in a good way. Definitely in a good way. <laughs> and I've had a lot of Filipino food at this point. It just tastes very Filipino. Like I'm not surprised by the flavor. It's very much like, yeah, I'm not surprised by it. 
It's good though. I like it. Guys, there is a train going through this mall. Good lord, the malls in the Philippines are insane. Ah. So this is the SM supermarket. You can find everything here. You got a bunch of international products. You got a lot of American stuff here. As well, they have a whole British section with like Tesco products, which is really cool. I personally, I like it for the feeling that it gives me of being so posh and like, just like a clean, organized supermarket. Because in the Philippines, let's be honest, it's not always easy to find clean, organized stuff. It's sometimes you have to pay a top dollar for that stuff, as well as like, it's not really available everywhere, everywhere, especially in the remote locations that you travel to here. All right, guys, Borja has also reminded me, still haven't mentioned it, but we're on a road trip. So we gotta like prep for this road trip. We gotta get snacks and water. A very cool road trip. Yes. <laughs> More on that coming soon, I promise. But you know, first, just look at all this freshness. It just, I don't know. There's something about it, you know? Guys, look at all the peanut butter. Okay, for those of you who are not American, first of all, let's appreciate that big old made in the USA proud peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly mix. And it's so good. But it's just a few too many pesos for this boy to afford. I'm gonna put this back where we found it, but we appreciate it. These, these are my new jam. Yeah? Kyoshu seaweed flavor. I just found out about these when I was in Boracay just a few days ago. They're like Taiwanese Lay's. Oh my God. These are my favorite flavor of chips I've ever had, I think. They're delicious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it wouldn't be the Philippines if there weren't people doing karaoke in a supermarket. So, we have left the supermarket. We have goodies. We got snacks. We got water. We're now gonna continue walking around a little bit here. And then we're gonna get ready to bounce off on this road trip because we got some driving to do today. We're just trying to choose which wing we want to leave from. We were parking in the mountain wing, but we can't for some reason remember where that was. Well, we've made it back to the mountain wing, but there's no cars in sight. Daphne, what do we do? I what, have no idea. Because what are we gonna I do? think we just left without knowing where we parked. We all just like la 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 la. <laughs> and now we're just lost in the mountain wing of the SM Seaside City Mall, Seaside City Mall, City of the Seasides of the City Malls. Day two, we're in the parking garage still. I don't want to die in the parking lot of a mall. I really don't. All right, we got a security guard. He's joined the crew now. This is going to become a Scooby-Doo hunt for this car. Day four, we're still stuck in the parking garage. The food started depleting. We ran out of all the water. Borja has just entered a comatose state that he won't get out of. Okay, listen, I love the fact that this mall has its own theme music. And they keep singing, I love Cebu, I love Cebu, but when you're trying to find a car in a parking lot and it keeps just echoing in your ear, I love Cebu, it's really hard to find your car. We've somehow re-entered the mall again. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't found the car. This is a disaster, honestly. We've lost a car in the mall. We've somehow lost ourselves. That's the thing with Filipino malls, they're so big. It's impossible. It's a good song, I'm not gonna lie, it's catchy. It's a great song. I love Cebu too, but it's a little too much. Oh my God, guys, have we done it? Have we found it? Who's this guy? He knows exactly where our car is. You know where my car is? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I should be happy about that. How does he know where the car is? <laughs> it's so confusing. There she is. Oh, we did it. We found it. Guys, we're not gonna be trapped in the mall tonight. The road trip can officially begin. We have found our vehicle. Orca, don't kill me. Orca, don't kill me. God damn, I love the Philippines so much. It's just the best. Everything feels like this. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so dizzy in here. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> it's just going around in circles for so long. Into okay. the car we go. Oh my god. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This road trip has officially commenced because tomorrow we're leaving this island to go to Bantayan Island, which is an island right off the coast of Cebu Island. The main, the main hitters that we're going to is the Neg Negros Island, which will be after um, Bantayan Island. And then after Negros, we're heading back to Panay Island, where Iloilo is, and we're gonna be exploring some hitters like Gigantes, and we're gonna go back to Calibo for Ati Tihan, the festival, Ati Atihan. Ati Atihan. Once we get to Luzon, we're gonna do a big backpacking trip to the north, 
and it's going to be sick. It's going to be something you guys have been asking me to do for a very long time. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because it was super fun to make as well. I love exploring these malls. See you guys next time. See you guys tomorrow when we begin this trip. And we're going to end you guys off with a Filipino word of the day. Sweet up. It is also in Spanish, which just means city. So that's going to be the end of that. I'm kind of sad that it's the last time I'm going to be in Cebu. But I definitely hope I'm going to check it out again. Say goodnight, guys. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow we begin our adventure. And it will be an epic one. For sure. We love you long time, Clats. Make sure you subscribe with those notifications turns on. Someone slap them. <laughs>